Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today we have a very special episode. <laughs> That's right, we're celebrating 100 subscribers! <laughs> yeah! And what we need today is a very special figure or figures to review. Um, bootleg Bruce Lee? Nah. Um, bootleg Spider-Man? Nah. Fucking, uh, uh, Street Fighter fucking, uh, card game? Nah. Fucking, uh, where does this piece of shit come from? Fucking, um... Jose Canseco? Tell me I didn't pay money for this! Oh shit! There it is! Ha ha ha! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures! The movie figures! By NECA! Oh man! And I just got the NECA Golden Girls figures too! Let's see. Golden, Golden Girls, Girls or the or Teenage, Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Jose Canseco! Anyway, anyway, it's gonna be the Golden Girls versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Raz Holly, hit the music! This is out outrageous. The, the, the Golden Girls and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles don't exist in the same continuity. Continuity? What? Uh, they don't even exist at all! I thought I told you to fuck off and never come back, fanboy! Oh, I... I don't recall that. Well, in that case, fuck off and never come back, fanboy! You'll pay for this classic if it's the last thing I do. Execute order 69. <laughs> 69. I said do it! Oh, whatever! Just get the hell out of here so I can start the show! Wait, what's that? Anyway, Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> So here it is, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, by Nickelodeon and NECA only at GameStop. These were actually a uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, a couple years ago. They were brought back at GameStop. They sell them for about 35 bucks. I don't know if you can still get them. We have our NECA logo proudly uh, displayed on the top. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and of course, a warning. Legal mumbo jumbo, ages 14 and up. Why you say? Because these are a collectible. And I chose Michelangelo because he seems to be everybody's favorite Ninja Turtle. He comes with a slice of pizza, his nunchucks, and uh, an extra pair of hands, it looks like. You've got, um, you know, some uh, pictures of the actual figure on the side of the box. And on the other side here, we have uh, Michelangelo. Now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live action blockbuster film. After wading in a puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into New York City's greatest crime fighting quartet. Michelangelo is the easygoing, free spirited brother who loves being a turtle and loves his pizza. But make no mistake, this wise turtle never pays full price for late pizza. 
the highly detailed action figure stands 6.5 inches tall and features 30 points of articulation including double elbows and double E's. Kawa fucking bunga. So there it is. And then we have a low res picture of the figures on the back and um, some better pictures of this particular figure on the back. So each and every one of these boxes um, actually has a different back, um, different art, obviously, and a little blurb about the individual turtle. So that's pretty cool. Um, not too much, not too busy. We can kind of see the whole figure except for the bottom part. Um, but you know what, you can see most of it. And you know what? If you wanted this, you got it. So, <laughs> and I'm itching to get these things out of the box. But let's take a look at another one. And we have Donatello proudly displayed with the slice of pizza. His uh, bow staff is should be in here somewhere. I can't see it right now, uh, but I know it's in there because on the side of the box, you see him displayed as such with it. Also, some cool pictures of the figure on the side, again. And then a Donatello blurb. Um, it's kind of the same thing we've got. Now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live action blockbuster film. Blah, 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 blah. Then we get to Donatello. Is the turtle's resident techno genius. But make no mistake, he's world class with the bow staff. This highly detailed action figure stands 6.5 inches tall and features 30 points of articulation. Blah, 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 blah. The same thing as the other one. They all come with the slice of pizza, so that's pretty cool. And um, I'm ready to get into these things, but you know what? What do you think from, the, from this standpoint? I think they look pretty good. These would look pretty good on a shelf if they ever made it to one. Um, these were pretty much gone uh, during pre-order, so it's not like uh, we ever got to use these these hangers anywhere it's, that I know of. Tell me in the comments if uh, if you happen to see one of these in the wild. All right, we're almost halfway done, so let's just do every turtle. Here's Leonardo. He's got the pizza. He's got his katana blade, which is actually pretty cool looking. Um, I can't wait to get this thing out of the box and really see what it looks like because it's very neat looking in the box. Again, the art on the side of these things is very nice. Very nice pictures of these figures. I'm wondering if the quality of the pictures or the figures in the pictures are like the quality of the figure that I get. We'll find out in a moment. But before that, let's talk about Leonardo. And let me, I gotta find out, we did, we did the same thing, the transformed into New York City's crime fighting quartet. No one works, studies, or trains harder than Leonardo. He commands respect from his brothers, leading by example, not by giving orders. This highly detailed action figure, yada yada yada, and uh, you can fully showcase Leonardo's stealthy moves. So, yeah, Kawa fucking Bunga, man. Um, I'm... We got one more turtle to go, and then we can open these fuckers up. Finally, it's Raph. It's the 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 real New Yorker, <laughs> the one with the New York accent, at least from this version, the movie version of the Ninja Turtles, which is what this is based on, obviously, as we see the poster from the 1990 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Was 90, 91? I don't fucking know. Anyway, pizza size. And on the back here, we've got a smaller blurb. Looks like Raph is getting the fucking shit end of the stick again. <laughs> All right. Raphael's a skilled, psi wielding ninja. Beware. When he gets angry, you don't want to be around. This highly detailed action figure, again, again, it's six and a half inches tall, 30 points of articulation, and uh, Raph kicks some ass. Um, so, so far, so good. Great art on the package, great looking packages. These things would stay in the box um, just fine if you were eating your own boogers and keeping all your toys in the box. However, that's not how we do things around here. Now it's obvious we've got a real fight on our hands today as our first set of figures look really, really great. What? Listen to me, Daniel. Listen to your friend, Jesse. Don't continue with this review. You mustn't meddle with different continuities. And why the hell not? And by the way, where have you been? You know, you're supposed to be my co-host, you know? It's not important where I was. 
What's important is that you heed the wise words of the fanboy and not mix the licenses. You've been warned. Wise? What, what the fuck ever? I will deal with you later. For now, let's take a look at these figures out of the box. Okay, so NECA, we've got a bone to pick already. Tape, we've got a twist tie, and just to top things off, the feet are stuck into the part of the plastic, so, and the hands, and the hands too, oh don't forget, so, and from what I've heard, these things are quite del delicate, and can break right out of the box, so, I want to be careful, honestly, with these things, because they did cost a little bit more money than you're typically, you know, wanting to spend on something like this, but god damn it, this makes me so angry every time they do this! Anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's take a look at uh, what these look like out of the box. Okay, so right away, these look pretty damn good. Um, they look like their movie count counterparts. Let's take a look at Michelangelo first. Um, he has the nunchucks. Every single one of them comes with the slice of pizza and an extra pair of hands and also um, one of these, uh, the, the extra, uh, the, the, the end of this thing. You can mix and match, I guess. I, I don't know. It gives them like a different look, I suppose. Um, the the paint is great. The sculpt is great. The where we run into problems now is the posability. Um, they're they look like they should be posable. There are 30 points of articulation here, technically, but when we we run into problems here is like when you try to actually put them in an action pose. Their legs go about that far. That far. Um, would, would you like to sit them down on a, something? No. This is like, this is seated position. Um, the legs don't really move. They're pretty much static. This is, um, I don't know, it's slightly disappointed. You can get some good, you know, standing positions, but like even trying to make them do like a kick or something in a pose is gonna be difficult. So, um, you know, if you like just having them standing around eating pizza, that looks great, but otherwise, um, not so much. Now, the accessories here, take a look at the side. Everything is painted very well. Everything looks very nice. It looks almost real. It looks like the stuff from the movie. Um, for sure, absolutely. And, um, and then there's some little problems. But why does Donatello just holding his bow staff like this? Because when I tried to put it in the little uh, fabric holder thing, um, it just came apart. Just came right the fuck apart. Um, and it's not like this one was going to do much of, a, much of a job of holding that thing either. It was going to end up sliding right off of the back. So unless you want to glue it to the back of the figure, um, he's either going to hold it or you're just going to chuck it in a drawer somewhere or um or whatever um but hey you can do this little dance look at look at the little dance <laughs> panda let's take a look here let's forget donatello for a second go back to raf he's really sweet looking um they all have like the little spots um the muscles the texture the shells look at the the the, the scars the scratch marks on the shell it's all very cool. There's a lot of tiny details. I think a lot of the posability problems kind of come into the shell. The shell is very um, constrictive. And the these elbow pads and knee pads are very constrictive. So it's like, oh, it's got a double knee, but this is about as far as a, of a bend you're gonna get on these things. So if you were hoping to like put these in super dynamic action poses, um, it's just not gonna happen, but I mean, when you look at the sculpts, though, it kind of almost makes up for it. I don't know what to say. It's kind of a tale of two figures. I like these, though. I, I don't regret getting them. Um, I just wish they were slightly more posable. So there you go. These are the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by NECA, the, the movie edition. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Did you pick these up? Could you pick these up? Could you find these when they came out? And what do you think of them? Um, are they worth it? Um, me, I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, you could drop 
two hundo on uh, on fucking the all four turtles, a Krang, Shredder, and a couple of foot soldiers. But nobody really wants to drop that much money all at once at Target on action figures, on what are basically middle of the road action figures. And trust me, those figures, those figures in those boxes at Target, they aren't that much better than the figures, uh, the, the, the Marvel Legends, the DC Multiverse figures. They're not really that much better than those. And at 50 bucks a pop? I don't think so. Anyway, let's check out these Golden Girls figures. Okay, the Golden Girls by NECA. We're only going to look at one box because they all look the same. And we're going to look at the most important box, um, the box that Sophia comes in. Because uh, Sophia comes with the cheesecake um, and a purse. Um, the other ones, maybe not. No accessories. I don't think so. We'll find out. Um, we're going to open these up here in just a minute, but let's take a look at the box. We have a picture of Sophia right there uh, on the on the front of the box there. And uh, we've got the, the Golden Girls logo across the top. The logo and name of the figure on the side. A little uh, picture of the Golden Girls themselves. And um, a blurb. Um, unfortunately, it's the same blurb on every single box. Uh, Rose, Blanche, Dorothy, and Sophia are four seniors living in Miami sharing a house, their dreams, and a whole lot of cheesecake. Bright, promiscuous, clueless, and hilarious, these lovely mismatched ladies form the perfect circle of friends. Complete your collection with all the girls. And then we have a, uh, a picture of them uh, posed. And already it looks like they pose better than the Ninja Turtles. Uh, but let's take a look at these figures. Um, I'm, I'm itching to get to these things and, and get them out of the box, but so far, so good. Well, let's take a look at what these whole broads look like out of the box. So, if you thought maybe you were gonna charge $35, $40 for an action figure, you might wanna design a plastic shell that can hold the goddamn figure without using twist ties and horse shit. You know, it, 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 it pains me to see these fucking twist ties and tape and the bullshit. I mean, at least, at least there's no tape holding down the cheesecake, holding down the bag. Like, but come on. Like, really? Did we did we need to, like, lock this figure down? Um, did we, were we worried about this thing fucking bouncing around in the fucking package? Huh. Anyway, let's open it up. Okay, before we get started, every single one of the Golden Girls comes with one of these. Uh, the desiccant silica gel. Obviously, it's there to keep the clothing fresh, I guess. Um, and, and obviously, the, the one thing that bothers me about this is, always bothered me about this, it says, throw away, do not eat. Like, these figures are made for 14 and up. Who in the right mind was gonna give them to a kid younger than 14? And by the way, if you do, you should have your fucking kids taken away from you. And, and in that case, fucking who is grabbing this and being like, oh wow, the fucking Golden Girls came with snacks! Anyway, anyway, let's take a look at these figures while I throw that away. They actually look pretty good, and they're slightly more poseable than the Ninja Turtles. And this is your cheesecake uh, that it comes with, and also the bag. If you were lucky enough to buy Sophia, it actually came with accessories. So those are the only accessories they come with other than their clothing, um, which is actually kind of cool. Like, it looks like the clothing they would wear on the show. Um, uh, you got Dorothy with this, um, this kimono, fucking samurai, Count Dooku fucking thing she's got going on. And uh, you've got, uh, of course, everybody's favorite fucking Rose in a, in a you know green dress of some sort. Um, it looks a little big. I mean, like it's practically fallen off of her fucking shoulders. Um, yeah, 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 I know. Anyway, and then throw this away. And then look at this. We've got Sophia. She's got like her little doily thing around the neck. 
Uh, it comes with the, the purse and, um, holy shit, does it open? Oh fuck, it opens! You can put stuff in there! That's kind of neat. Alright, so that's cool. And uh, she's got the glasses. Um, it's very, very good sculpts on these. They're actually pretty good posability for some reason. Like, I mean, like, look, she can do high ass kicks. Yeah! Yeah! Fuckers! Like, come on, these are more posable than the Ninja Turtles. I'm starting to lean on the side of the Golden Girls for better figures. When it I, they, they just seem better. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at the posability. Look at the real clothes. They're not falling apart in my hands. The, the accessories. I mean, there's a cheesecake. I mean, if they all came with a, maybe a slice or a, a cup of tea or, or some shit, that will be nice, you know, and I mean, but look, you get the detail, you've got the, uh, the, the nail polish on the hands there, the earrings, everybody's got jewelry and, and, uh, the, the facial sculpts look great. They look like who they're supposed to be. <sighs> All right, so one of the reason, the real reason I wanted to do this was I wanted to compare and contrast the Ninja Turtles and the, the Golden Girls. So who do you think is the analog for each of the Golden Girls to the Ninja Turtles? I'm gonna do mine right now, kind of on the fly. So who's the leader of the, of the Golden Girls? I'm thinking Sophia's the leader and she's got the blue. So Leonardo, where you at buddy? Let's bring out Leonardo, bring him back out here. So he, here's our analogs, Leonardo and Sophia, the leaders. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Next, <laughs> next up we've got Dorothy. Dorothy, the muscle. <laughs> she could either be Raph or, or, you know, maybe, maybe Sophia's Raph. Or maybe Dorothy is the smart one and Dorothy with a D and the purple is Donatello. Huh? Huh? There you go. Maybe. I don't know. Fucking, you give me your goddamn version of this. Anyway, fucking coming up next is, is Raphael. And it's kind of like by default because Raphael's not really a slut, but th that's who's left. And because we all know, we all know that Michelangelo and, and Rose are, are basically the same. Basically the same fucking character. Like she's like, Calabanga dudes! And then the laugh track. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, these are actually better. Golden Girls win! <laughs> Those are the Golden Girls. And let me know what you thought of these figures in the comments. Did you pick them up? Are they worth the money to me? Yeah, they are worth the money because to my knowledge, they are the only Golden Girls action figures that there are. And not to mention the level of quality that these are. Sure, you could go out and you could find some TV figures uh, from the, the, the Mego Revival line, but those things are fucking dog shit. That's it, Classic. You've done it now. You never should have opposed the fanboy. Now you'll pay. That's right, Danielson Classic. Jissy fights for me now, and your now is end. I, I mean, your end is now, Classic. Attack, Jesse! Attack! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Jesse? I thought we were friends. You never should have mixed the licenses, Classic. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not your friend, Jesse. You fool. <laughs> He's a variant! <laughs> That's right, you blithering boob. I have replaced your precious Jesse with a variant. And you'll never see your California co host ever again. <laughs> He's from Minnesota! Ah. Uh. I couldn't even make him bleed. Ah! I ain't got time to bleed. 
you may have defeated my variant, but I still have Jesse, and you still never see him again. Oh yeah! Raz Holly hit the fanboy! Patos, woo! Dee -dee 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 -dee. It's payback time. Ooh, I wonder if my variation pizza is here. Variant! 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 Dan Classic, you got a special mail call coming your way. To my old pal Dan Classic from Raz Holly. This is what we've been waiting for. The real Jose Canseco. Let's 
Shut up, yeah. Duke. Yeah. Dang.